Welcome inside the Acres Broadcast Center. I'm Tim Mulhaupt, and this is your Sports Nightly Ticker. Nebraska football announced today that tickets for Nebraska's April 9th Red-White Spring Game will go on sale to Huskers fans next week. Football season ticket holders will have the first opportunity to purchase spring game tickets on Tuesday, February 1st at 10 a.m. Central, with the public on sale beginning on Wednesday, February 2nd at 10 a.m. Reserve tickets for the spring game are $10 in advance, will be $20 on the day of the game if tickets remain. Any available club tickets will be $25. Children 8th grade and younger will be admitted for $1 and must secure a reserve ticket in advance. University of Nebraska-Lincoln students can secure a free ticket to the spring game online by visiting huskers.com students. Tickets for the August 27th Nebraska season opener against Northwestern in the Aer Lingus Football Cla- Classic in Dublin, Ireland will be available on Monday, January 31st at 11 a.m. Central. This will mark the first opportunity to purchase tickets in the Nebraska ticket block without a package. Nebraska's ticket allocation will be located on the east side of Aviva Stadium on levels 1, 3, and 5. Ticket prices for the game are $175, $250, and $340, and will be available online Monday, January 31st through the athletic ticket office at huskers.com slash tickets. There's a limit of eight tickets per account, and all tickets will be mobile delivery through Ticketmaster. Elsewhere, Huskers baseball received a boost this morning when it was announced Baseball America placed them 20th in their preseason poll. Coming off their conference title last season, the Huskers are the only school ranked from the Big Ten. Their first game is just under a month away when the Huskers begin their season on February 18th with a three-game series against Sam Houston. Huskers men's track and field also received good rankings news as the program climbed to 12th in the latest United States Track and Field and Cross Country Association's NCAA Division I Indoor Track and Field National Rating Index released today. Elsewhere, we look at college basketball tonight. No Big Ten men's games in action, but in the men's top 25, number 13, Texas Tech takes on number 5, Kansas, in a good one at 8 p.m. Central. And late out west, Arizona State will tip off at number 15 USC at 10 p.m. In women's basketball, Purdue is currently battling number seven Michigan. That one's just underway in the third quarter. Actually moving quickly through the third quarter. It's 48 to 40 in that one as that's about five minutes left in the third. Nas Hillman is going off as she had 20 points at the start of the second half. In the top 25 for women's, it'll be Vanderbilt tipping off later. Actually, they're just tipping off now against top-ranked South Carolina. And San Diego is also just getting underway against 16th-ranked BYU. That's the ticker. My name's Tim Mulhaupt, and you're listening to Sports Nightly on the Huskers Radio Network. Coming to you live from Memorial Stadium, it's Sports Nightly. All the Huskers, all the time. Sports Nightly is presented by the NDOT Highway Safety Office, who reminds you to buckle up and put the phone down. Looks for high beat, foul line extended right side. Dribble penetration, Sammy drives and scores! Jim Hybe! Great finish by Nebraska, they're back within a possession. Here's McGowan's driving the ball to the rim and jams it right in the face of Payne. Posterized him! Put him on the poster. Burge puts his head down, drives it, floater off the rim, in and out, offensive rebound, put back, up and good by Walker, up and good by Big D. Moriarty going to take the baseline, and now she's going to drive underneath reverse layup, good for Kendall Moriarty, are you kidding me? Now that is a big time one-handed reverse layup by Moriarty. 12.45 to go, here's Trey McGowan's with a three, got it! Trey McGowan's, his first three-point attempt of the year. After sitting all these games with a broken foot, his first shot is gold. 82-73, then Iowa lead out top, Markowski for three. You betcha, Markowski has hit six threes. Unbelievable. And she's got 27 points. Here are your hosts, Greg Sharp and Jessica Cudi on the Huskers Radio Network. Thank you. Welcome to another week of Sports Nightly. Tim, I challenge you next hour to do the ticker in 13 seconds. (laughs) That's all Patrick Mahomes would need to get through the ticker, right? Yeah, for sure. Man, what a weekend of NFL games. All four. All yeah, four. made up for the bad games the week the weekend before. All walk-offs. I mean. Three field goals and then the touchdown. To, where that's does crazy. that Chiefs-Bills game rank among some of the better NFL games you've Maybe seen? Maybe right at the top. Yeah. I and mean, it's really, really good. It was awesome. And, I mean, again, like you said, I don't know, maybe because – We've seen him do it, and you see how explosive they could be. But even when I, – I mean, you, you can't leave them any time. You can't leave the Chiefs and Patrick Mahomes any time. I do not like the overtime rule, though, because Josh Allen deserved to have the ball back. 
after that performance. Like it didn't, he didn't deserve for it to end that way. I don't think they need to tweak that. And the Chiefs tried to get him to tweak it three years ago because the Chiefs lost the AFC title game in 2018 mm-hmm. to the Patriots. Same thing, coin flip. Patriots and Brady win it. They go down and score a touchdown. Game over. And the Chiefs in the offseason presented a rule change to the league to change it, and it didn't pass. It just laid there. I think what they ought to just do is just play a quarter. Either If you want to only make it 10 minutes long, that's fine. Make it a 10-minute quarter. And when the clock's hit zero, the game would be over then. Whoever's ahead would have the win. What if nobody scores? Play another 10 minutes. Yeah. Just keep it's going. Just, it's not, I, get, I understand for TV purposes to make sure that things aren't long, but why can't you make different rules for – playoffs you should I mean if you have to do what you got to do in game in season and you know for TV and timing and all of that but when you get to the playoffs it should be different rules totally because agree. there's no way that game should have ended without the Bills getting another opportunity like that game was just too good to end without the Bills getting an opportunity totally agree I'm st- the one thing if, if, if I'm the Bills fan today I'm going why did we not squib kick the kickoff yeah. 13 seconds left. Kick a little squibber. Make them pick up the ball or lay on it. Kill a second or two because they booted out of the back of the end zone. And the Chiefs got no time off the clock for that. But it was a classic game. Two really cool Husker moments over the weekend in those games. One was Zach Taylor just leading the Bengals to the AFC title game. Just We talked about him some last week. I think I made him my winner of the week last Friday night. Just a great job that he has done. To go beat the number one team on their home field, what a great win for Cincinnati. That was yeah. cool. Yeah, it's just such a great story. I mean, as you mentioned, Zach Taylor, but then, I mean, think about how quickly they've been able to turn things around. Jeremiah talked a lot about it in our podcast last week about this is a team that hit on draft picks, which is sure makes and breaks teams and, and their future. And they've hit on some draft picks. They've got some really good pieces. I mean, look at Jamar Chase, Joe Burrow, what they've been doing. I actually followed and, and worked with Joe Mixon and Samaj P. Ryan, two mm-hmm. of their running backs at Oklahoma. And so the way that it's kind of come together, and uh, I think they're fun to watch, and it is. It's a great story. I, I said I'm on that bandwagon from here on out, so I'd love to see them make it to the Super Bowl. The other cool Husker moment ended up in a loss, but it was the, the uh, box. They're down seven, and Dominican Sue forced a fumble. Levante David recovered the fumble. Brady then a couple plays later – pushed them into the end zone they tied the game up and then they had a big defensive breakdown letting cooper cup get deep late for the long pass play that set up the game winning field goal in that game but the nfl has to be over the moon with what they saw this weekend how about this uh in kansas city last night at 8 45 which was roughly about the time the game was ending the market share television market share they drew a 90 share and for tv lingo Share is all the people that own that's how many TVs. So if you have 100, 100 TVs owned by people, 90 of them were turned on to the Chiefs game. Wow. So it's not a rating, but it's a share. And usually the shares are way lower than the rating, but because rating just takes on who's actually got their TV on. But 90 share in Kansas City, that's crazy. And he, just the way that those games and all of them kind of coming down to the end, even for people Huge. that might not be watching, but then they're on social media and then everybody's going off. So then they turn it on, right. you know, to, to see the end. So I bet the ratings are through the roof and uh, great entertaining ball games and you couldn't ask for anything better than for all of them to come down to the, to the very final play. This, I haven't heard from Jeremiah, by the way. You know, yeah, he, I'm a little worried about him. He, um, we probably he, should check in on him. If the Bills would have won, we would have heard yeah, all about sure, it. We, we, sure we would have heard from him uh, firsthand, but because they didn't, he's probably gone into hiding. We are going to hear from Kevin Kugler here in a couple of minutes. Kevin had the call last night on Westwood One of that Chiefs Bills game. A proud UNL alum who works for Fox, FS1, BTN. Called that one last night for Westwood. He'll join us here in just a couple of minutes. Ticket announcements. Tim had it in the ticker. Next week's a big week for Husker football fans because not only do tickets go on sale for the spring game, but also single game tickets going on for Ireland. And I've had a lot of people go, when are those single game tickets going on for Ireland? So next week's a big launch point. Yeah, I've been asked I've been asked about that a lot too. And it's um they've had the packages out but now you're going to be able to just get those single game tickets which a lot of fans want to do if you know you however you want to you know plan your trip around that game when you want to get there when you want to leave so that that's coming up and um you heard the limited tickets but I went out, I had the chance to go out there in, in November, and it's going to be such a cool experience. Obviously, hope, you know, COVID and all of that, you know, gets kind of figured out and, and 
we get on the uh, tail end of that, but um, it's going to be just such an awesome atmosphere. They love their sports out there. And, um, you know, I've even talked to a lot of players that are really excited about sure. this opportunity um, to get a chance to go out there and experience that. It's, it's an opportunity that, you know, I had never been out of the country and I got a chance to go to Ireland. Well, I've been to Mexico, but other than that, like I had never been anywhere else and so and it's probably a lot of people that are involved with this trip might not have otherwise players coaches personnel might not have otherwise had this opportunity so it's a really neat opportunity and it's going to be an awesome atmosphere so yeah those those tickets are on sale soon finally after i know we've been getting asked a lot about that monday 11 a.m is when they go on sale you can go to huskers.com to figure that out also Ticketmaster will have them available for you so Single game tickets for the Aer Lingus College Football Classic, Nebraska Northwestern, Monday at 11. Spring game, season ticket holders. You're going to get the first crack at spring game tickets. That will be on Tuesday, 10 a.m., not tomorrow, but next Tuesday, 10 a.m. Then the full public will have the ability to buy tickets on Wednesday, also at 10 a.m. So those are a couple of big milestone dates. How many, how many tickets do you think sell? Uh, I think we'll end up with a crowd in the 70s. Yeah. But I think probably in the first couple of days, 30, 35,000 yeah. go in the first couple of days. I, I just, there's so much intrigue about this football team, which we've said, and um, kind of getting to see all the quarterbacks and all the different pieces that have been added and the new offense. It's got to be a more exciting of a spring game than in a long time, and, and especially for all the things that are going on. I got to think there's going to be a lot of intrigue trying to go to the spring game. There is a limit of 10 per account, and, and that's been a critique in the past and I think they've had it fixed the last couple of years but some people buy big blocks of 50 and 75 and then the general public doesn't get a lot and that's important in Nebraska to let the general public have a chance to come to the spring game because so many people can't afford a season ticket but they can afford the $10 ticket to a spring game and bring the family and so it's a really wonderful opportunity to get young people in the stadium to see Husker football in the spring so they have put a limit of 10 per account uh, for those spring game tickets again next Tuesday for the season ticket holders Wednesday for uh, in the general public you mentioned the quarterbacks uh, I don't know if you caught it over the weekend Casey Thompson uh, made a splash on social media. He took the offensive line out for a night of dinner and bowling, and I think it was his treat. Good for him. Yeah, I mean, it's just so important to have that relationship between um, quarterback and your offensive line. Um, you know, I was when I was at Oklahoma the year that Kyler Murray won the Heisman, he took those guys out, the offensive linemen out to dinner every single week. Now, obviously, he had just signed a massive contract. NIL wasn't happening yet, and he signed a Major League Baseball uh, contract in the in the summer so he had you know quite a bit of money and but he was he took them out to eat every single week and I'm telling you I've never seen kind of a relationship between offensive line and quarterback uh college wise like like I saw out of that and and because they spent time together outside of just going to the meeting rooms and and working on the field it's it's important to build that relationship and that chemistry and also it's you know, you want to you want to fight for those guys when you have those kinds of relationships beyond just what you do in football regards. If you have a relationship that you know them on a different kind of level, it just um, you just want to fight more for those guys. It's so so important for him to be doing that. And I'm glad he gives this great sign of leadership from him. It's going to say, "I this is going to be my team, my program." Well, he's got to do it quickly it. too. At that, you know, unfortunately, it's it's not like he's coming in and going to have a lot of time. I mean, he's going to have to establish that those bonds really quickly. So it's going to be fun to follow the Huskers you know it's we're not that far we're about a month away from spring practices beginning but I thought that was a great sign to see that that Casey did that over the weekend and you know hey the big fellows like to eat we, we, we know a couple of them and Jeremiah and Brendan and they like to eat they're, you take them out for a free meal they're gonna be your pal yeah and uh anytime like for me if I don't because I don't eat red meat and if I don't eat something Jeremiah is always the one that's that you know hey can I get that so I pass it along to him but yeah they uh, they always love that. That's a, that's the quickest way to their hearts, right? No doubt. Is, uh, is is through that food, but just a good good to see. And um, you know, we had talked last week about how he's out here throwing passes with his wide receivers, which is is so important and getting that chemistry and that uh, relationship and and the timing, all of that. It's a lot of times you see the guys with quarterbacks and wide receivers. Who is their safety blanket? Come third, fourth down in a big time moment. A lot of times it's those guys that you put in the most 
time with now and and you have that comfortability with and and developing that relationship with so this time is just absolutely critical we we talked to dave you were in here earlier dave ellis with nutrition um and we're gonna have that for you coming up tomorrow but it's just such an important time this is what makes and breaks football teams come the fall sure does Today was the first official day for winter conditioning. They've been doing it quite a bit for the last couple of weeks, but today was kind of the first official day uh, for that. And the Huskers.com has updated the football roster. You can count 11 transfer portal members. I was kind of thinking around 10 to 15, so they're kind of right in that area, and I don't know that they're done. Uh, and they picked up another one in Omar Brown, the, tr- the FCS freshman of the year, defensive back from Northern Iowa. He now is officially a Cornhusker what a big get. And there's a younger player to bring in the program. I know some people said, oh, you're getting all these older players. Omar's only played one year of college football. He's got three to go. Yeah, and again, adding that depth to the defensive back room. Yeah. And Jeremiah and I talked a lot about that on the podcast this week. Just that's that's a room that you – that that uh, the team that has a lot of great pieces coming back, that secondary is definitely a room that got hit. And you got to yeah. replace those and you got to find the guys that – are going to um, compete and push and, and fill some massive roles that, that have been um, left behind. So I think that was another huge addition when you look at the portal and then even the signing class. That obviously was a big focus, and I think they uh, definitely got some big gets in that room. So there you go, 11 officially in the fold for the Cornhuskers. All right, here's what we have on the program tonight. Kevin Kugler from Westwood One, Fox, BTN. He's going to join us here in a little bit and talk about what he viewed last night, that terrific game in Kansas City between Buffalo and the Chiefs. We'll also talk some uh, Big Ten basketball with Kevin as well. In hour number two, another one of your – give me the right title of it. Your baseline walk? Uh, inside the vault. Inside the vault. And we're going to talk to Ashley tonight. Yes, Ashley, Ashley Scoggin. Scoggin, yep. What a shooter. Man, she's fun to watch. Shoot. I know. I, I, I'm such a fan of, of good shooters because that's not something that you are born with. You have to get in the gym and work and to be an elite shooter like what she is to shoot over 45% from three is just absolutely ridiculous. And that's something that, you know, again, you don't, it's just, it's not God given. You got to get in and, and put the hours in to be a shooter like that. So I definitely love watching her play and appreciate that skill set of being an elite shooter. Well, we'll look forward to hearing that in hour number two. We do now know both the men and women are going to play on Thursday. That came out after we left the air Friday night. The men will play at 4 o'clock as they make their return, so they'll be have about a 10-day absence from their Monday MLK game against Indiana to Wisconsin, 4 o'clock on Thursday. And the women also play Wisconsin Thursday night. It was supposed to be um, – that's when that game was scheduled. It was for Thursday night. They backed it up an hour. They're going to start at 8 so they can clear the arena after the men's game and then get the women's crowd situated into their seats for that. So basketball doubleheader at PBA on Thursday. And for the women – they played last Sunday, so they're going to have a, one extra day before they get back on the court, and that will start a stretch for the women of four games in eight days. And I know Husker Nation looking forward to watching them get on the court again. I'm excited to get them back. I mean, they had such a couple tough losses there, and you know, we're probably really eager to get back out on the court and and try to get back in the win column. And so, yeah, excited to see them get back. Hopefully, they're healthy and and um, got some players back that they've been kind of nursing some injuries. Hopefully, Sam Hybe's ready to go. I'm anxious to get an update on her. Hey, buck, uh, buckle up and put the phone down. That's a reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. We're back to talk to Kevin Kugler, Nebraska's own, next. Start the new year in a new gear with a 2022 Jeep Grand Cherokee L from Woodhouse Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Blair. During the Start Something New sales event going on now, an SUV made to feel like home, crafted with exceptional materials and elevated craftsmanship. From test drive to purchase, Woodhouse makes it easy to shop in-store or online at WoodhouseChryslerJeepDodge.com. Stop out and see us for a test drive. This is Woodhouse. From vintage sneakers to bacon-scented soap to water fountains for your pet, all can be had with a few simple clicks. Problem is, you never really know what you're going to get until they show up at your door. Introducing Ford Blue Advantage. It's used car buying that's built for you. Not only can you shop for used vehicles online, in person, or both, you can also test drive before you buy, so you know exactly what you're getting. Plus, get history reports, vehicle inspections, Ford warranties, and the expertise of factory-trained techs. Visit FordBlueAdvantage.com today. From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, I'm journalism student Grace Fitzgibbon with Campus News. 
Nebraska's new collaborative biosecurity lab is leading research to safeguard America's food supply against growing threats in partnership with the U.S. Departments of Defense and Homeland Security. The lab brings together world-leading expertise in agriculture and a deep understanding of the complexities of strategic deterrence across the threat spectrum and in multiple domains. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. At Nebraska, our people will always be our greatest asset. Day by day, donors give our teams the best opportunity to compete and win through their generous donations. Our vision for the future is ambitious and requires help from those who want to see Husker athletics excel at the highest level. Go big and join thousands of other Huskers Athletic Fund members with your gift today at huskers.com slash donate. When you're prepared for life, you get more out of life. When you're prepared, you spend less time worrying and more time doing the things you love. How prepared are you? When you're ready to find out, Emeritus is ready to help. First, we get to know you. Then we make a plan together, one that lets you enjoy today and prepare for tomorrow. That's what we call fulfilling life. Emeritus, insurance, employee benefits, financial services. This isn't the start. Before I got here, I started training. And before that, I did something to my back. But my first move was Athletico Physical Therapy. That's where I'd eventually end up. So why not start there? I mean, my therapist immediately found the source of my pain. These are the same physical therapists who work with elite marathon runners. So soon, I was back to running, but without pain. <sighs> you got this. It all starts at Athletico. Schedule your free assessment at athletico.com. From sprains and stitches to sore throats and sinus infections. When it's care that can't wait, count on CHI Health Clinic Priority Care. Simply walk in seven days a week from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. You'll get the quality care you need without an appointment, and you'll never pay more than a regular primary care visit. Get in, get out, and get on with your day. Find a location near you at chihealth.com slash priority care. Did you know that cigarette butts make up a large portion of microplastics in the ocean, which end up in 70% of seabirds and 30% of sea turtles? Bank of the West is helping to solve this problem by not financing big tobacco, proving that what a bank chooses not to finance can be just as important as what it does. Learn more about what we do and don't finance at bankofthewest.com slash change. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Cornerstone Bank proudly serves Nebraska with a full line of loan and deposit products. Cornerstone is large enough to handle all of your financial needs while offering the personal service you deserve and the local decision-making you expect from a family-owned community bank. Stop in or call one of the Cornerstone Bank locations near you to discover the Cornerstone difference. Bank on a solid foundation. Cornerstone Bank. Member FDIC. Equal housing lender. Loan subject to approval. It's on our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, which is sponsored by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. Well, what a weekend it was for the National Football League, and the guy that had a, a top row seat for this one and called it on Westwood One is a good friend of the program, Kevin Kugler. First of all, congratulations. I heard some of the highlight clips. You nailed it. That had to be a blast for you last night. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. You know, I had uh, I had good help in the booth from uh, the Husker Sports Network's own Nate Rohr, wow. who was providing the spotting expertise up there. So, <laughs> there and you know, Nate did a good job also of reining in his chief fandom and uh, trying to keep a, a, a calm demeanor during the craziness that was going on too. Where do you rank that? I mean, you've called Final Fours. You've called a lot of playoff games. Where, where does that one stack up? It's got to be near the top, I would guess. Uh, it's the best football game I've ever seen in person. And, I've, you know, I thought the 2018 AFC title game that I called Chiefs-Patriots was a great game. It was. I mean, I, I don't think that diminishes from the greatness that was that game. But this one was something special to have – that happened in the final two minutes of regulation and overtime. Uh, it was a game that you, you hear this cliche a lot, but uh, I didn't really want anybody to lose that game. You just would have liked to have seen it 
continue on into the night. Maybe the Bills get a chance. Then the Chiefs get another chance. I would have loved to see that game go on and on and on. Okay, let's get your thoughts about the overtime rule. That certainly has been the talk around the country today. And you mentioned the 18 championship game. It affected that game as well with the Patriots and the Chiefs. Where do they, where do they go with this thing? I, I think they're going to have to go somewhere. I think they'll react to this kind of like they did with the pass interference a few years back between the Rams and Saints, that for a year at least the pass interference rule was a reviewable rule. That didn't work. This will. They'll need to come up with something that tweaks it ever so slightly. And maybe it's just a playoff rule. You know, you don't have to have the same overtime rule in the regular season and in the postseason because you don't have the same rule now. In the regular season, it obviously ends after one overtime and it stays a tie. You can't do that during the course of a postseason. You've got to have a winner to move on in the playoffs. So they already have different rules for regular season and postseason. It's probably going to be okay if they tweak it again and say, we're going to play a full quarter. Well, we'll play 10 minutes or we'll play, you know, just play 10 minutes and then we're going to keep playing another 10 minutes and another 10 minutes if it remains tied after those first 10 minutes and until you get a winner. I think that's okay if you do something like that as opposed to what you have now. Maybe you don't do it in the regular season because you're not going to affect as many players and teams and you won't have as many potential injuries crop up. But in the postseason for the one or two games that might be affected by that, I think it'd be okay. Nebraska's own Kevin Kugler with us here on Sports Night. He works for Fox for the NFL, Westwood One for the NFL and college basketball, and also still dabbles with some BTN. The, the league, Kevin, has to be over the moon. I mean, all four games came down to walk-off plays to end it. I, I don't know that I've ever seen that in my lifetime. Uh, it was the best weekend of football I've ever seen from start to finish. And, you know, you get on the air with one of these games, and last night's game was expected. Everybody anticipated that that was the best game of the weekend when the schedule came out. We all looked at it, and everybody, boy, that's the, that's the game. You had the two young gun quarterbacks. Everything looked like it was going to fall together for what should be an exciting game. And then you had exciting game after exciting game after exciting game, and you're kind of, you know, you get into the booth and you think, well, there's no way it can really live up to the hype, especially after everything we've seen this weekend, right? And then it does live up to the hype. I, I, I was stunned, delighted. I'm sure the folks in the league offices are doing back handsprings today because – that's all anybody is talking about is the NFL. It's the best game in town. We see it reflected in the television ratings, in the ad revenues, in fan interest, and we see it, in, and we see it reflected in the conversations that have happened throughout the day and now into the night here on this show and many others. I mean, this is the conversation in sports today in the United States of America. Kevin, you were covering Nebraska when Zach Tater was a player here. Tell me what kind of job, what, how, how good a job has he done there in Cincinnati? He's just done an, an amazing job. I'm so impressed. I'm so happy for him and for his family. I mean, he's, we had them early in the season this year, and every time I see him, I get, I, I'm so excited to talk with him, and he's always so kind to, to remember when, we were, uh, when I was covering his teams when he was playing here so many years ago. But it was, it's, it's fun to see. You know, at the, the beginning of the year, there were a lot of questions. Is Zach Taylor on the hot seat? Is Zach Taylor on the hot seat? Well, Cincinnati's usually pretty patient with coaches, sometimes to a fault. Uh, they've maybe kept coaches on a little longer than they should have at times in Cincinnati. Not the case with Zach. They, they showed the patience. Nobody, nobody wavered from this. Got a healthy Joe Burrow back, who obviously makes a significant difference. But I'm really happy for Zach. This is a team that nobody expected to be in the position they're in. And it's a tough task. But they had tough tasks the first couple of weeks of the playoffs, too. So there's a chance to go to the Super Bowl. And if you'd have told Bengals fans at the beginning of the season, if you'd told Zach Taylor at the beginning of the season, your team is going to be one of two teams left in the AFC, I think he would have signed up for that regardless of what happens this weekend. No, no doubt. Kevin Kugler with us here on Sports Sunday. I know with your work with Fox, you probably see a little bit more of the NFC than the AFC. So give me a breakdown of the, the Rams and the Niners coming up this weekend. Well, I think this. I had Rams last week in the Arizona game, and this Rams team is extremely talented. The thing that I think sets them apart right now is the way their defense is playing. Von Miller has really acclimated himself well into this Rams defense. We had them right after during the regular season when Von Miller came over from Denver, and it took a few weeks for Von to get going in that scheme and for that scheme to get going around Vaughn. They're certainly in place right now. And OBJ has come on as well. Of course, we all know what Cooper Cup has done. The Triple Crown winner in the NFL this year has been fantastic. And 
I mean, Matthew Stafford, I'm happy for him. He's a great dude. And to have the chance to be in this position where he can finally shake off some of the Lions demons that have uh, followed his career, I'm happy for him there. And how about Jimmy Garoppolo on the San Francisco side? I mean, this is a guy who had his replacement drafted this year. You took a first-round quarterback in San Francisco with the full intent of – Jimmy Garoppolo was not going to be your starting quarterback. And all Jimmy Garoppolo has done is overcome injury, overcome that, and lead his team to the precipice of a Super Bowl again. Uh, I think it'll be a terrific game. We saw it in the last week of the regular season. San Francisco was down 17 nothing before they rallied in that game to win and get themselves into the playoffs. And now they have a chance to go to the Super Bowl by eliminating one of their rivals again from the NFC West. So uh, both games are interesting but I think they're going to have a really tough time living up to what we saw in divisional weekend. Those were four terrific games, and I, I can't imagine anything can match Bill's Chiefs. That's, that's the game of the year so far, and I think it'll be the game of the year when the season is all over. Yeah, I think you're right. Kevin Cooler with us here on Sports Night. The Rams have a chance to play at home for the Super Bowl. Have you had a chance to visit that new venue? I, I have. You know what? I've been there a couple of times, and SoFi Stadium is a remarkable achievement. It's a beautiful stadium. It's like going to a really fancy sports bar when you're there on a Sunday afternoon because they put all of the games on their ring of monitors that are at the top of the stadium. It's like several Jerry World screens of games. It's, it's, a, it's a remarkable place to watch a game. And, you know, it's, it's right there by the airport. It's right in the heart of Los Angeles. It's a really cool spot to do a game from, and they did it right. They spared no expense on that thing. It is, it's the Taj Mahal of NFL stadiums. Well, I know now that your football work is done, you can kind of focus in on college basketball, a lot of Big Ten games. In fact, I believe you've got the Huskers coming up this week. What do you make of the Big Ten at this point in the season? Well, it's a wide-open race, Greg. I mean, this is a, this is a, a, a division, this is a conference, I should say, that's, uh, that is wide open. Illinois, once they get all their pieces back and everybody back into place with Kofi Coburn and Andre Curbelo, I think they're extremely talented. Purdue is as good as anybody in college basketball. I know they've had a hiccup of late, but I think everybody's going to have a hiccup at some point in this league. Michigan State, I saw them Friday. They beat a Wisconsin team that I think is really good, and I know Nebraska sees Wisconsin on Thursday, but Michigan State is starting to trend in the right direction when Tom Izzo loves this team, compares him to his 2015 Final Four team in a favorable way. He thinks this is a team that can do the same kind of thing, and I'm not about to doubt Tom Izzo when he says something about college basketball. The man's seen a lot more than I have. Wisconsin, if they get Tyler Wall back, has shown they can do anything at any time with anybody. And don't sleep on Michigan. Nebraska's got them next week, and I think Michigan is really going to start turning the corner with this season they're too talented not to i think juan howard's going to get these guys rolling in the right direction now that they're seemingly turning the corner on all the COVID stuff and everything else i look for michigan to make a surge in the second half they're not going to win the big 10 i don't believe but i think they're going to make life really tough on teams in the final month and a half of the season do you think there's a final four team in this league I do. I think there's one in there. I think Purdue could certainly be a Final Four team. So much, of course, depends on the draw. Right. But Purdue hurts you in so many ways. They hurt you with two really good post players. Jaden Ivey is as electric a player as there is in college basketball. Sasha Stefanovic provides you with long-range sharp shooting, no matter where he is on the floor. He seemingly is in range. I think Matt Painter is a tremendous coach. And I, I just think this Purdue team has a little bit of everything to make the push. I wouldn't discount Illinois, and I wouldn't discount Michigan State either. Michigan State and Tom Izzo, that team seems to have a little bit of something right now. I know they lost to Northwestern a week ago, and the worst thing that could have happened for those players and probably the best thing for Tom Izzo is they got a week in the gym working together on practice and watching hours and hours of tape. I think that's why they beat Wisconsin this weekend. They were so happy to not be in the gym with Tom Izzo anymore. They were just relieved. It was just a relief thing to go out and play basketball instead of watching tape. Very good. Well, Kevin, again, appreciate you cutting out some time for us today. I know it was really busy and late night for you with the Chiefs and Bills. It was a, a game for the ages, and you were on the call for it. Best of luck with college basketball. We'll cross paths, I'm sure, here in Lincoln. I know we will very much in the next month or so. Good to talk to you. There he is, Kevin Kugler. Had the call on Westwood one last night. Calls a lot of NFL for Fox, and then that will jump into college basketball on BTN and also on FS1. He was joining us on our Sports Sunday Hotline, which is brought to you by the Woodhouse Auto family. Shop Woodhouse first. 18 brands, 16 convenient locations. Simplified car buying to save you time. Shop, finance, buy online at Woodhouse. 
Com. All right, phone lines open. Your thoughts, 402-413-2400 with a call or a text. Jessica will rejoin me next. The game isn't just about winning or losing. It's about the snacks they share after they've used up all their energy in the field. It's the early morning practice before school and staying late after to get a couple more kicks in. It's the pride they feel for their team and the determination to always keep improving. Sure, the game isn't always about winning or losing, but when they've won the big game and celebration is in full swing, there's only one thing left for you to do. Get them home safe. Buckle up in back. Paid for by NDOT Highway Safety Office. Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to listen in on a transmission from Major Laura Stanton, the first person on Mars after a seven-month mission to the planet. Houston, do you read me? Uh, copy that, Major. Anything you need? Yeah, what were last night's Powerball numbers? With the starting jackpot in the millions in drawings Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday, everybody wants to know about Powerball from the Nebraska Lottery. What's it look like there, Major? Red. Top prize odds, one in 292 million. At Subaru, they love building vehicles for those who pack a lot into life. The redesigned 2021 Crosstrek is their way of saying more power to you. An upgrade in horsepower means you have a world of fun and adventure waiting for you. And the Crosstrek comes with standard symmetrical all-wheel drive. Love, it's what makes Subaru, Subaru. Visit Deto Subaru at 27th Street and Jamie Lane in Lincoln or at DetoSubaru.com. Upgraded horsepower available on select models. Nebraskans are choosing chiropractic for better health. Why chiropractic? Because it is safe, drug-free, and a cost-effective treatment option for back and joint pain. Plus, all generations can benefit from natural chiropractic care. Choose chiropractic first for pain relief, nutrition, or to improve your mobility, athletic performance, or overall wellness. Make chiropractic your first choice for better health. Find a chiropractic physician near you at NebraskaChiropractic.org. Get your life back with chiropractic. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. When you're a sports fan, it's kind of like having a new love interest. You want to know all about them. Only, instead of learning about someone's third grade crush, you want to know the latest scores, stats, and lineups. To get that, you need Cox Internet. Cox gives you that window to look deeply into your beloved team's soul, not to mention their injury list. Cox, we're sports 24-7. Learn more at cox.com slash sports. Inspired by the legendary coach Tom Osborne, Nebraska Athletics is proud to introduce the 255 Collection. With the mission to connect style with Nebraska pride, 255 was designed with the fan in mind. With high quality at the forefront, 255 can be worn anywhere, from sporting events and business meetings to backyard get-togethers. No matter the occasion, 255 is about feeling confident, looking good, and celebrating the remarkable coaching career of Tom Osborne. Shop now at Huskers.com or participating retailers. For more information, visit Huskers.com slash 255. Start your car buying journey today at Woodhouse Ford and experience the difference. Our team is ready to help you get the job done with our full lineup of all new 2022 trucks. The 2022 F-150, Ranger and Maverick are built tough and ready to tackle whatever lies ahead. Shop online anytime at woodhouseford.com or visit us in Blair, Omaha or Plattsmouth. Woodhouse Ford has something for everyone. What's better than Huskers basketball? A Husker basketball VIP package. Enter for a chance to win four tickets to a game, hospitality access with food, a signed basketball, and the chance to hang courtside during warm-up, all courtesy of Nomi Health, your convenient COVID-19 testing partner. So get tested and help stop the COVID spread and enter to score a Husker basketball VIP package. Slam dunk indeed. To enter, visit huskers.com slash Nomi, huskers.com slash N-O-M-I. Everyone knows that Dakota Mac is known for their great rates on long-term fixed ag real estate loans. But just how long-term are they? Well, they're even longer term than your sister's piano recital at church that time you drank a whole big cup of soda right before you left home and insisted to your mom that you didn't have to use the bathroom. We're talking that long-term. Hi, it's Nick Renna with Dakota Mac. Call me at 308-380-7564 to learn about our competitive 30-year fixed rates on ag real estate loans. From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, I'm journalism student Grace Fitzgibbon with Campus News. 
Nebraska researchers are designing the next generation of roadside steel barriers through an industry partnership with Traffic's devices. This partnership has produced the Delta Crash Cushion, a simplistic, effective way to keep drivers safe on highways. This barrier is vital for roadside safety and significantly improves the chances motorists will be able to walk away from roadside collisions. Time now to see what's on tap, presented by Bud Light. The Husker men and women will both play Wisconsin, both on Thursday. The men will tip off at 4 o'clock against the Badgers. That'll be after a 10-day halt because of COVID issues. Pre-game coverage here on the network begins at 3. The women will play at 8. Your ticket will say 7. It's been moved back an hour so that they can clear the arena after the men's game and then get uh, the women into their women's season ticket holders into their ticketed seats. Pre-game at 745 on Thursday night. That's what's on tap, uh, presented by Bud Light. Michigan about to take down Purdue in women's play, 79-66. I was having this conversation, Jessica, with Andrew before the show tonight. By the way, Andrew's feet are bothering him, so he's he had Sammy go to the training table and get him some food to make him feel better. Oh, of course he did, yeah. We were talking about, I like the quarters. He does, and I think the men should go to the quarter system in college basketball. He's opposed to that. Where do you come down on that? Yeah, it should because it's a. Uh, you're talking about college basketball, men's college basketball, literally the only, only basketball that is not played with four quarters. You go to the NBA, it's four quarters. You go play in Olympics, you go play over overseas in Germany, wherever it might be. If you're not playing in the NBA, everything is four quarters. So, yeah, I think it should be. It's it's universal. I think it should stick to what everybody else does. I like end of quarter situations. I like advancing the ball during timeouts. Yes. The men don't do that. That either. needs to happen. Yeah. That, yeah, that's a huge. Like, I mean, it's a huge part of the game. Also, I hate how um, with because it doesn't ever really happen when you're watching four quarters, but when you're watching a men's game and there might be a long stretch of play, and so you have to take your under, say, under 12 timeout. Well, then maybe you play, you play, you play, or it's it sometimes works out to where you have to take two really long timeouts in a matter of a minute or 30 seconds. Drives like, me nuts. I, I, don't, I don't like when that happens. It, it, it can be such a momentum changer. It's a, it takes, there's, it provides a huge lull in the middle of the game. You know, when you have the quarters, it's pretty set and it, you don't see that unless someone calls a timeout close to a TV timeout. But there are sometimes that those long TV timeouts happen back to back within a matter of minutes or seconds that just does not provide for a rhythm in a game. I totally agree. It sucks the life out of a building mm -hmm. in so many cases. And if you go look at time of game for the men and women, they both play 40 minutes. The women's game is probably, I would say, 10 minutes quicker, even though they have TV timeouts and all that half times, the same amount of time, 15 minutes, just like the men's game is as well. I just like it. It just flows so much better. I agree. And, and I've called play-by-play -play for both men's and women's, and it is amazing how much better the flow is when you're calling the game, too, with four quarters as well. On our text line, John in Omaha says, Jessica, since you got here, I thought you'd been perfect, but we finally found the chink in your armor. Cheering for the Bengals. Feel so badly for you. You wow. know, I'm not, it's not like I'm a diehard Bengals fan. I just, um, I think it's a cool, a cool storyline with Zach Taylor and some of the players that um, involve, e even which we've said here with Mickey Joseph and recruiting and how big Jamar Chase has been for him with these young guys seeing what Jamar Chase has gone on to the NFL to do. Well, hey, you got a guy, uh, Mickey Joseph has a guy that played for him that he helped get to the league that's going to win a Super Bowl. That helps in recruiting too. I just think there's a lot of layers and storylines with the Bengals that um, I can appreciate cheering for. I, I Honestly, it's unfortunate that the Chiefs and the Bengals play each other because those would be the two teams that I think I would root for the most moving forward. So whichever team wins that game, I will be for That'll in the be Super, your Bowl. Super Bowl. Team. Yep. Okay. Doc and Lincoln says NFL playoff overtime rules should be, as Greg said, one additional quarter. These are professional athletes. It's not like they're trying to wrap it up early for Josh Allen to get to bed for school in the morning. As professionals, <laughs> they deserve the opportunity to play another full quarter. Plus, it's great for TV. You're right, Doc. I'm with you. I, I have seen um, people saying, well, you should play better defense. But, I mean, it was just whoever, which quarterback was going to get the ball was going to win that game. I mean, the way that that game was going, if whoever – it's just it shouldn't come down to a coin toss. It just – that's bottom line – when you're talking about advancing, going to play for the Super Bowl, because there might be 
there are a lot of teams that make it here that don't make it back in a right. long time. And so um, it just keep the keep the regular season, those rules the same. That's fine. But tweak the rules for the postseason. I totally agree. Boy, the text line's busy tonight. Uh, Stephen Bellevue said, this is off topic, but did Gretna get their regular season games forfeited because of the ineligible player? I believe they did. I think they get, they're just over the season, Steve. I'll double check that during the break, but I think they did. And uh, he said he just read the re- – he said, just the rest of the NFL playoffs are canceled. Bills and Chiefs are playing a best of seven series. <laughs> I don't... That'd be awesome. Ooh, my goodness. <laughs> I don't think either one of those teams would like that. So, uh, But uh, keep them coming, folks. Uh, 402-413-2400, the number to dot us up with a comment or question or fire off a text. If you're calling us, you're doing it on our Sports Alley Hotline, which is brought to you by the Woodhouse Auto family. Shop Woodhouse first, 18 brands, 16 convenient locations simplified car buying to save you time and money shop finance and buy it online at woodhouse.com back with the final segment of hour one next stay up to date with the most current and latest news by following the huskers on facebook twitter instagram youtube and more these social media homes provide the fastest daily updates on everything surrounding nebraska athletics including game times results ticket promotions prize giveaways and more log on to also follow several sport specific pages and husker head coaches join today and interact with thousands of husker fans around the world visit huskers.com social media to see all of our accounts Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to listen in on a transmission from Major Laura Stanton, the first person on Mars after a seven-month mission to the planet. Houston, do you read me? Uh, copy that, Major. Anything you need? Yeah, what were last night's Powerball numbers? With the starting jackpot in the millions and drawings Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday, everybody wants to know about Powerball from the Nebraska Lottery. What's it look like there, Major? Red. Top prize odds, one in 292 million. Nebraskans are choosing chiropractic for better health. Why chiropractic? Because it is safe, drug-free, and a cost-effective treatment option for back and joint pain. Plus, all generations can benefit from natural chiropractic care. Choose chiropractic first for pain relief, nutrition, or to improve your mobility, athletic performance, or overall wellness. Make chiropractic your first choice for better health. Find a chiropractic physician near you at nebraskachiropractic.org. Get your life back with chiropractic there is no place like nebraska and there's no place that treats you like home like sap brothers for 50 years sap brothers has fueled america's heartland and been a reliable partner to local farms and husker fans across nebraska providing the highest quality fuel lubricants and propane servicing your farming equipment and welcoming guests into their travel centers visit www.sapbros.net Sap Brothers is proud to be an official partner of Husker Athletics. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. You already got the hat, the jersey, maybe even the occasional red and white face paint. So kick things off right this season and add the FNBO Husker Visa debit card to the list. Pay loud and proud for every Husker decal, t-shirt, or hot dog at the game. Wear your heart on your sleeve and in your wallet with the Husker Visa debit card, free with any checking account from FNBO, the bank of Husker Nation. Get yours today at fnbo.com slash Huskers. Member FDIC. At Great Western Bank, they understand what commitment to community means. It's more than setting up shop. For Great Western Bank, commitment means growing together and serving their communities. With more than 50 locations in Nebraska, they are dedicated to making life great. Thank you, Lincoln, for allowing them to be a part of this great community. Great Western Bank, member FDIC. Back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, which is sponsored by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more acres solutions for every field. Greg Sharp, Jessica Cootie with you here on a Monday night. You want to be a part of the program, the call or a text. The number's the same, 402-413-2400. We're also up on our YouTube channel. And I've seen some of the chat in there about kind of wondering about a start time for the game in Ireland. I would guess it's going to be kind of a, here anyway, it would be kind of a mid-morning game. They're about six or seven hours ahead of us. So, And I believe both teams are going to try to fly home that night. So I would say it might be 8.30 in the morning here 
not over there. Yeah, I, I guess it depends on TV, right? To um, I, I also wonder how that's going to work if it'll be on a what network it might I be on. I would guess it's BTN, but maybe not. And so they'll have to, you know, fly out a crew, and depending on TV times and all of that, uh, you know, that might. But, yeah, it, that's for both teams. They have to get back here and get acclimated and get right back because they have a game the next weekend. That's right. This past year, that bye week was built in because, for that purpose, but it's not the case this year. So not only do you have to, you have to fly back, which it takes a lot out of you, then you have to get your body back acclimated yep. um, because they're going to be out there a full week before that game um, and then turn right back around and, and prepare for a, a different team. So it's a, a lot of adjustments. So, yeah, you'd think maybe they'd – would like for it to be played early but also it, it just kind of depends on tv you would think too and when they want to put that game on yeah uh, and i'm going off a little bit of the nfl when the nfl plays in london they go early morning about 8 30 kickoff and i believe notre dame played in ireland maybe even in the same stadium a few years ago and it was kind of an early morning and kind of before the rest of college football got going that day they were about done so that's what i based that off of uh but yeah it could be could be different and jessica's right could be where a tv crew wants to, to place that sue on our text line said i am so and she did that so with like five o's <laughs> glad the chiefs wanted the overtime rules tweaked a few years back absolutely i mean bills fans are mad today i get it but the chiefs can go we agree but nobody went with us three years ago when we wanted it changed so that's why it's that way i think that kind of is a good out for the chiefs they don't have to feel so guilty yeah uh, it's uh kind of funny how you you hear teams that wanted it differently and then it turns around to benefit them but it's just for the for the sake of it should have been changed back then too I mean I'm not just arguing for the Bills or against the Chiefs and but I, it just moving forward it just seems like the better way to settle who deserves to go play for the Super Bowl other than a coin flip yeah, and hopefully maybe these games this week don't go to overtime so that it gets decided on the field in true football fashion. A lot of people say, well, go to the college rule. I, I don't know. I think the NFL needs to kind of do something else that's theirs, not just copy college. That usually doesn't happen. College usually copies the NFL. I don't like the college rules once they get to a certain I, point either. You don't like the two-point tries? No. And then, will the Penn State-Illinois game, like how that <laughs> one, that was wild. So, that yeah. was crazy. Um I don't know. Um, it just it um, you you don't want you want those games to be decided how, but it but then you kind of pose the problem of well, what if it keeps going on and on and on? I do understand that, and right. so that's kind of the you know the battle that you kind of face is how do you get these games decided when they're not getting decided on the field? You know, you have to tweak how you can, but um, as far as just what the NFL does. Keep it how it is. That's fine, but just change it for the postseason is all I'm saying. Nebraska 811 says go dig red before you dig. Always call or click 811 to have your utility lines marked. It's free. It's easy. It's the law. Glad to hear over the weekend the announcement that both the Husker men and women are going to get back on the hardwood later this week. It's a doubleheader day at PBA against the Badgers. Both the men and women playing Wisconsin. The men will tip it at 4 o'clock. The women at 8 uh, so the Huskers were supposed on the men's side to play Wisconsin on Tuesday, so it got moved back two days. The women were scheduled to play Wisconsin on Thursday night. It got back moved back one hour so that they can clear the arena. So if that happens, the Husker men would be missing the Ohio State game, and the Husker women would still be missing the Illinois game. Not bad if they can escape through COVID, but just that, those interruptions that have happened for both the men and women. We'll hear from Ashley Scroggin next hour. We'll also talk some Husker women's tennis. They're about to get their season underway tomorrow night. We'll talk to Coach Jacobs the next hour. Come on back. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. You could win a 2022 Porsche Macan from Porsche Omaha this season. Four lucky Husker fans will have a chance to win a 2022 Porsche Macan if they make a putt on the court at halftime at one of four home men's basketball games this season. Each contestant will receive a pair of tickets, hospitality, and a visit with the broadcast team before one of the home games with Ohio State, Rutgers, Northwestern, or Iowa. For more information and the official rules, go to huskers.com slash putt. Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to listen in on a transmission from Major Laura Stanton, the first person on Mars after a seven-month mission to the planet. Houston, do you read me? 
Uh, copy that, Major. Anything you need? Yeah, what were last night's Powerball numbers? With the starting jackpot in the millions in drawings Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday, everybody wants to know about Powerball from the Nebraska Lottery. What's it look like there, Major? Red. Top prize odds one in 292 million. From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, I'm journalism student Grace Fitzgibbon with Campus News. During the summer of 2021, three UNL students helped safeguard cattle across the state. Neely Anderson, Tatiana Jones, and Ashton Commons developed secure beef supply plans that prevent the spread of disease outbreak. The plans protect nearly 850,000 cattle across our state and provide greater economic security for this vital industry. Hy-Vee Meal Time To Go is mealtime made easy. Just order delicious meals online for convenient curbside pickup or have it delivered. Want breakfast? Hy-Vee Meal Time To Go. Need lunch? Hy-Vee Meal Time To Go. Doing dinner? Hy-Vee Meal Time To Go. Get pancakes, burgers, fried chicken, lasagna, high chai Asian dishes, sushi, pizza, and more. If you're craving it, Hy-Vee Meal Time To Go has it with curbside pickup or delivery. Order today at hy slash mealtime.
Welcome inside the Acres Broadcast Center. I'm Tim Mulhaupt, and this is your sports nightly ticker in 13 seconds, or a lot more than 13 seconds. Nebraska football announced today that tickets for Nebraska's April 9th red and white spring game will go to or go on sale to Huskers fans next week. Football season ticket holders will have the first opportunity to purchase spring game tickets on Tuesday, February 1st to 10 a.m. with the public on sale beginning Wednesday, February 2nd at 10 a.m. Reserve tickets for the game are $10 in advance and will be $20 on the day of the game if tickets remain. Any available club tickets will be $25. Children 8th grade and younger will be admitted for $1 and must secure a reserved ticket in advance. University of Nebraska-Lincoln students can secure a free ticket to the game online by visiting huskers.com backslash students. Tickets for uh, the August 27th Nebraska season opener against Northwestern in the Aer Lingus Football Classic in Dublin, Ireland will be available on Monday, January 31st at 11 a.m. Central. So mark the first opportunity to purchase tickets in the Nebraska ticket block without a package. Nebraska's ticket allocation will be located on the east side of Aviva Stadium on levels 1, 3, and 5. Ticket prices for the game are $175, $250, and $340 and will be available online Monday, January 31st through the athletic ticket office at huskers.com slash tickets. There is a limit of eight tickets per account and all tickets will be mobile delivery through Ticketmaster. In other Huskers sports, Huskers baseball received a boost this morning when it was announced that Baseball America placed them 20th in their preseason poll. Coming off their conference title last season, the Huskers are the only school ranked from the Big Ten. Their first game is just under a month away when the Huskers begin their season on February 18th with a three-game series in Texas against Sam Houston. Huskers men track and field also received good rankings as the program climbed to 12th in the latest United States Track and Field and Cross Country Association's NCAA Division I Indoor Track and Field National Rating Index release today. Elsewhere in college basketball, no Big Ten games for the men tonight, but in the men's top 25, number 13 Texas Tech, Texas Tech will take on number 5 Kansas at 8 p.m. And late out west, Arizona State is at number 15 USC. That one tips off at 10 p.m. In women's basketball, just final number 7 Michigan took down Purdue 79-66. to And some top 25 games to keep an eye on. Top-ranked South Carolina is leading Vanderbilt handily. It's 42-15 and a half. And 16th ranked BYU is up on San Diego 35 to 19. That one is also at the half. That's the ticker. My name's Tim Mulhelp, and you're listening to Sports Nightly on the Huskers Radio Network. Coming to you live from Memorial Stadium, it's Sports Nightly. All the Huskers, all the time. Sports Nightly is presented by the NDOT Highway Safety Office, who reminds you to buckle up and put the phone down. Looks for high beat, foul line extended right side. Dribble penetration, Sammy drives and scores. Jim Ivey. Great finish by Nebraska. They're back within a possession. Here's McGowan's driving the ball to the rim and jams it right in the face of Payne. Posterized him. Put him on the poster. Burge puts his head down, drives it, floater off the rim, in and out, offensive rebound, put back, up and good by Walker, up and good by Big D. Moriarty going to take the baseline, and now she's going to drive underneath reverse layup, good for Kendall Moriarty, are you kidding me? Now that is a big time one-handed reverse layup by Moriarty. 12.45 to go, here's Trey McGowan's with a three, got it! Trey McGowan's, his first three-point attempt of the year. After sitting all these games with a broken foot, his first shot is gold. 82-73, then Iowa lead out top, Markowski for three. You betcha, Markowski has hit six threes. Unbelievable. And she's got 27 points. Here are your hosts, Greg Sharp and Jessica Cudi on the Huskers Radio Network. Back here for hour two of our Monday show here of Sports Nightly. Kind of an interesting week for all of us. We're not going to have any of our coaches' shows because they haven't played, so uh, no chance to hear from Amy Williams or Fred Hoiberg, at least for radio shows for this week. We're working on trying to switch that around a little bit for next week because it's been a while since we've heard from some of the coaches, and uh, particularly with all the momentum for Amy Williams' squad. We we can't wait to get her back in studio. Uh, She's been so popular to hear and talk to, but really encouraged that both the men and women 
are slated to play again on Thursday. Did not want a two, three, four week layout. So it sounds like we're going to avoid that. Yeah, and, and good to get a couple of them uh, back in, and especially those home games, so important to have those. And so at least they're figuring that out. We're, we're still waiting to hear about the game at Illinois for women's mm-hmm. basketball, that rescheduled. But at least the Rutgers game that was at home, that's rescheduled big for, you know, again, the tickets and, and the sales, and then also just getting on your home court. So glad that one got rescheduled. And um, I'm excited to see him get back because even at um, Iowa, without Jazz Shelley, without Sam Hybe, the way that they play, I, Iowa's a good basketball team. Mm-hmm. Caitlin Clark is arguably the best player in, in women's college basketball, one of. And, you know, for them to make it that close, I mean, I know it ended up being double figures, but it was – I mean, deceiving. That I was mean deceiving. Nebraska dominated that first half, and and they and, and again did it without two of their better players. Two of, I mean, you could say the two best players on the team with with Sam and Jazz. So, um, I think the for some of the freshman things are starting to click. I mean, Alexis Markowski, and so excited to see them get back out. Hopefully, they're not rusty and they are just excited and chomping at the bit to get back out on the court together. But. Um, always hate to have a layoff. At least they're kind of getting back sooner than um, maybe what. Because even back in December, look at Ohio State men's basketball, right? They were 21 at, days. Yeah, so at least they're getting it turned around a little bit quicker than that. Yeah. Well, uh, Ashley Scoggin is the focus of your one of your latest social media posts inside the vault. Take us through this. Yeah, I enjoyed getting to chat with her. And um, she is, what, 40? I looked it up, 44 Point seven percent from three points, so forty five percent. That's just that's so good. That's so good. A uh, third in the Big Ten. I know it's one of the best in the country as well. So I uh, got a chance to walk uh, from baseline to baseline with Ashley Suck- Scoggin in uh, inside the vault. Hey Husker fans, welcome back inside the vault. Up next for this episode, we have sophomore sharpshooter Ashley Scoggin. And before we walk at all, take a first step, tell us about this vintage uh, Huskers jacket you got going on here. Um, well, I get so many compliments on this, first of all, but I found it at a thrift store over, I don't even know the street name, but it's like 10 minutes from here and I was like, I need more Husker gear. So. You know, the had their rep Nebraska, so. It's pretty sweet, I, yeah. I can't lie. Okay, let's talk some hoops. Um, you're leading uh, in the top of the Big Ten, even in the country, one of the best shooters in, in the nation. At what point in your career, when you started playing basketball, did you realize that shooting was gonna be something you could provide a team? Um, I definitely knew when my dad was like, um, you're a really good shooter, like you need to shoot more often. And I was <laughs> like, what? And it kind of started like in high school and everything like that. And kind of once I went through my injuries, I was like, well, I kind of need to like adapt and find like another way I could really impact the game. And so that's kind of when I was like, okay, like this is how I'm going to stay on the floor. And so that's kind of when it started. You obviously can shoot the lights out of it, but how much more effective do you become when you have teammates that have found you the way they have this season? Um, Well, it makes my job a lot easier. Um, Obviously, when they're able to attack like Sam, Jazz, when they have multiple threats, even Izzy now, I think is doing a lot better. Um, in terms of her shooting, like that helps everybody and especially helps me because like once they drive, then it's I'm like, oh, OK, I'm over here. So, you know, it makes it my job a lot easier, too. So I know you give uh, lessons on the side. You teach uh, young girls the game of basketball. What's mm-hmm. lesson number one that you teach? Um, always have fun. I think like you obviously enjoy the game when you're out there. And so like just enjoy yourself, have fun, like always get better and just like work your butt off. Like that's probably one of the top one and two things for sure. And I think most people know your story, just the injuries, everything you've battled to, to get to this point. What does it mean to you to take the court here inside PBA after the journey that it took you to get here? It means so much. Like, it was very rocky, very hard. Um, but I am very, very proud of, like, where I've come and how much, like, even Nebraska was like, no, like, you're meant to be here. And I was meant to be a Husker, so I'm forever thankful for sure. All right, that is Inside the Vault with Ashley Scoggin. She's got such an incredible story. I mean, the injuries to her knees, having to go back, fix the knees. But, um, you know, I, I think as good of a um, three-point shooter as she is, it's it's also a testament to the pieces that are around her and how they found her. And because it's not like a lot of times the shooters, you, you, you know that she's going to shoot it and it's going in at a high rate. So that becomes a focus of a defensive scouting report. But... Um, 
for her, she gets good looks, which doesn't always happen for elite shooters like that. So that just goes to show you the the way that um, there's players on this team like Sam Hybe, uh, Josh Shelley, they can drive and get to the rim, kick it out because it collapses the defense, the inside presence from uh, Markowski and, and Bella. And so just the, the pieces that are around have, have been a huge part of her being able to, to shoot at such a high rate. And, and she's the first to admit it, as you heard her say right there. Well, last year there were really two options, Sam Hybe taking the ball to the basket and her. Mm-hmm. Well, now you got another shooter on the perimeter in Jazz. you got an inside post who can also shoot in the perimeter in Alexis. There's just there's so much harder to guard. And, and Jazz Shelley, by the way, shooting uh, 40, 44% from three. Wow. So you got, I mean, two shooters that are, can really knock it down. At a, I mean, that is just, that's so good and so tough and such a weapon because it just, um, it can change can change in in just a matter of minutes if you if you hit get hot from outside so i think uh, those two are, are just absolutely huge i i also just think and i'm gonna have a piece coming out um here in the next couple of days on just the chemistry of this team and i think a lot of fans that watch this team play that's that's what they can they they notice and they recognize immediately that how much they how well they play together how much they support each other and they don't care if like Sam Hybe, who's one of the best players in in this conference, doesn't care if she scores twenty points. She doesn't care if she doesn't care if she scores at all. She wants this team to win, and and everybody on this team is about that. They're bought into um, winning and playing together, and and they don't care who has to do what any given night to get that job done. When they get going again, it's four games in eight days. Wisconsin Thursday, Purdue Sunday at two, Rutgers next Tuesday at seven. That's a makeup game from one that got lost because of COVID. And then Penn State comes to town on Thursday. So four straight home games, great opportunities for you to get out and see this team play. And the Wisconsin game is Australia night with those yeah. three Australians. That'll be fun. Yeah. What are they have planned for that? They've got, I know there's a poster giveaway happening and they're going to have some fun things surrounding that. But, you know, we every time we have one of those Australians on the show, we get texts or tweets or somebody commenting on the chat how much they enjoy listening to them talk. But just the, I mean, Izzy and, and Jazz and, and Ruby, those are three big pieces to this team. And so, I mean, it's uh, going to be fun to celebrate them on Thursday. So there you go, Husker fans. Four straight opportunities in the next 10 days to see this team play beginning Thursday with Wisconsin at 8 o'clock. On our text line, Scott or Trev on the program anytime soon? Well, funny that you should ask, but our monthly sit-down with the athletic director for the Cornhuskers, Trev Alberts, coming up on Thursday, or Wednesday, Wednesday, rather, hour number one, Wednesday night, so Trev will be with us. Scott, no, uh, I think he's had a pre- – I would guess we'll hear from Coach Frost next week. It's day – the second day of the signing period, the second signing date coming up next Wednesday. I don't think the Oscars will be very active, but I think they may have Coach Frost meet with the media next Wednesday, but not scheduled to be a guest on Sports Island for any time soon. But Trev, here on Wednesday night. All right, uh, 402-413-2400, the number to dial us up with a comment or question. Our Sports Island hotline is brought to you by the Woodhouse Auto Family. Shop Woodhouse first, 18 brands, 16 convenient locations, simplified car buying, to save you time, shop finance by online at woodhouse.com. More of the show coming up. Ginch ice cold Bud Light, Bud Light Seltzer here. Just go to budlight.com slash delivery. Hey, Bud Light. I'm ready. Whenever there's a game to watch, there's a Bud Light there. Enjoy your response, playing Heiser Bush, Bud Light Beer, and Bud Light Seltzer, IRC Beer, Beer in Texas, St. Louis, Missouri. Touchdown, Nebraska! If you're doing business in Nebraska, the best way to connect your organization with the excitement surrounding the Huskers is through a partnership with Nebraska Athletics. You can take your business to the next level by reaching loyal Husker fans through in-venue signage, digital and social media, radio advertising, and more. Got it! Join the Husker team today and email partners at huskers.com to learn more about opportunities to connect with Husker Nation. That's partners at huskers.com. 
Hey, folks, this is Famous Dave. You know the difference between an ordinary get-together and a famous one? At most parties, the food's pretty forgettable. But imagine your table loaded with award-winning barbecue, chopped pork sandwiches, roasted chicken, and mouth-watering juicy ribs. From birthdays to corporate events, any size groups, we'll customize our menu to fit your budget. Make your next get-together fun and famous with catering from Famous Dave's. Visit FamousDave's.com. You're in the driver's seat with Woodhouse. Shop, finance, and buy your next vehicle your way. From the comfort of your home at Woodhouse.com, one of our 19 dealerships, or a combination of both, it's that easy. Plus, offering the most wanted new makes and leading pre-owned models, your next vehicle is on the lot or on its way. Shop confidently with the Woodhouse team today. Serving customers and communities since 1975. This is Woodhouse. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Hey, folks, this is Famous Dave. You know the difference between an ordinary get-together and a famous one? At most parties, the food's pretty forgettable. But imagine your table loaded with award-winning barbecue, chopped pork sandwiches, roasted chicken, and mouth-watering juicy ribs. From birthdays to corporate events, any size groups, we'll customize our menu to fit your budget. Make your next get-together fun and famous with catering from Famous Dave's. Visit FamousDave's.com. If you're driven by an adventurous heart, you're in luck. The 2021 Subaru Outback shares your spirit. It will take you as far as you want to explore with standard symmetrical all-wheel drive. It'll get you off the beaten path with 8.7 inches of ground clearance, more than Toyota RAV4 or Honda Passport. It's the best Outback ever. The 2021 Subaru Outback. Go where love takes you. Comparison based on competitor information for manufacturer websites as of July 2020. Visit Beardmore Subaru in Bellevue or at BeardmoreSubaru.com. From vintage sneakers to bacon-scented soap to water fountains for your pet, all can be had with a few simple clicks. Problem is, you never really know what you're going to get until they show up at your door. Introducing Ford Blue Advantage. It's used car buying that's built for you. Not only can you shop for used vehicles online, in person, or both, you can also test drive before you buy, so you know exactly what you're getting. Plus, get history reports, vehicle inspections, Ford warranties, and the expertise of factory-trained techs. Visit FordBlueAdvantage.com today. Here is a before-winter to-do list from JTEC Construction. Let's start with windows. Triple-pane window technology has saved homeowners countless dollars on heating and cooling bills. Siding serves a crucially important purpose, protecting your home and insulating it from adverse weather conditions. And don't forget about your roof. Designing your roof should be simple and painless, and JTEC offers several payment plan options. One more thing on your to-do list called JTEC Construction, the official exterior experts of the Huskers. See beyond traditional security with Kidwell. Kidwell's experts collaborate with its data cabling and IT teams to design and install surveillance camera systems that integrate with your network, are easy to manage, and can be accessed from anywhere. The Kidwell team assures every piece of technology performs seamlessly and creates greater confidence and a higher level of protection for your business and staff. From video surveillance to information technology to data cabling, see beyond to what's possible at KidwellInc.com. Hey Husker fans, this is Anne-Marie from the Nebraska Beef Council. Just like the big red wins on the court, you can win at the dinner table with great tasting beef. From steaks and roasts to ground beef and kebabs, there are countless ways to create a meal that will have your family cheering for more. Visit beefitswhatsfordinner.com for easy beef recipes, cooking tips, and meal inspirations. Beef, it's what's for dinner in Nebraska. Brought to you by Nebraska's beef producers and their beef checkoff. Our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, that's where we are tonight, sponsored by Acres, the Midwest's premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. Greg Sharp, Jessica Cootie with you here on a Monday night. Phone lines, text signs open for you at 402-413-2400. Mention that we will have Trev Alberts' monthly show on Wednesday night at 6 Got to believe one of the topics is going to be about the survey that was been has been out for a while. I think there are over 17,000 people have taken the time to fill that out. It'll be interesting to hear, because I'm sure he's seen some preliminary results, what kind of what kind of feedback they're getting. Yeah, because the last time he was on was he was telling about the survey and that, you know, he wanted to hear from Oscar Nation and wanted to get feedback from fans and 
kind of see where you know people stood on on certain topics so yeah i gotta imagine he'll be um, excited to kind of reveal what he's learned from it because yeah. I, I bet he is you know again learning a lot of of what kind of is important to fans which we've seen is very important to him so um yeah it'll be it'll be fun to hear his take on the results of all of that he's really trying to think about the next 10 15 years for the stadium and the experience in there and all the i mean it's hard i mean there's a lot of options for people to not come to the games everybody's got those beautiful flat screen tvs and maybe you don't want to fight the traffic and come down here so you've got to keep trying to recreate yourself a little bit and make it more fun for folks yeah and i mean we've heard time and time again the facilities arms race i mean it's like you get one built and then you're the best for like a year and then and somebody boom. else has something you know bigger and better and shinier and all of that and um you know i also think too just the the financial part of it i mean how you balance making sure that you know the with the we've seen him talk about the debt and, and the fundraising and all of that, just how you balance what you can can and cannot do fundraising and, and all of that, especially with this new facility coming up over here. We're going to talk to uh, Brendan Stye is going to come visit us tomorrow on the program. And he's in that fundraising world for the Cornhuskers. And we'll get an update from him on the new building. And we'll probably talk some football with Brendan <laughs> as well tomorrow. Hey, let's brag a little bit about Mark Manning and those Husker wrestlers. What a great weekend they had. They, dominated eighth rank Wisconsin in their Friday duel winning 22 to 12 and then went down to Evanston and beat Northwestern handily yesterday that was a some people were kind of scratching mean, I guess I was one of them scratching my head what's going on with that group but boy did they they step up and get it done this weekend yeah I mean they got hit by COVID and then I think just kind of maybe got a little out of sorts had some injuries uh you know we heard coach Manning on the show he seemed very upbeat and positive, pretty confident going going into that one. And, um, yeah, I think they're just getting healthy and, and getting some guys back into the lineup that had been out. And so, yeah, that was a couple big wins for sure. Uh, there were, Who was it? Was it Mikey that had 10 takedowns? That's outrageous, isn't it? I mean, 10 takedowns? <laughs> That's just flipping some a guy around. Some people don't have 10 takedowns in an entire season. I know. An, ent uh, an entire career. Like, what? That's awesome. It was impressive. Also a chance for us to remind you that the Big Ten Wrestling Championships, which are a lot of fun in a lot of ways, they're every bit as good as the NCAAs because of the level of wrestling in this league, is going to be in Lincoln. It's going to be at PBA March 5th and 6th. That's a Saturday, Sunday. Tickets are on sale now. You can get those at the PBA box office, or you can go visit Ticketmaster.com. That will be fun. And I don't have to tell you, folks, the, Iowa. the people from uh, to the east are going to travel in droves. There are going to be a lot of black and gold in the stands. Sorry, it was Eric Schultz that had 10 takedowns, but there was a lot of dominant performances oh. out there. But, you know, I can't wait to see the atmosphere because, you know, it's the best wrestling in the country right here in the Big Ten. And it's kind of like volleyball, I guess, a little yeah. bit. I mean, it's just uh, you're going to see the best in a lot of these guys that are ranked um, – that are going to go be competing for national titles. You're going to get to see uh, compete for Big Ten titles first, and um, it, it should be a fun weekend for sure. Should be. March 5th and 6th. Again, tickets on sale now if you want to get those, and you can buy one session, a couple sessions, uh, whatever you like to do. So it's out there, and let's get some red in the stands and help Mark Manning and those guys uh, fight their way on through. And you know, we were, we were talking about in the on Friday that they started out, but they start at 149, right? Yep. And that was the one of the key matches that Coach Manning had said that was going to be key. And so, you know, Ridge ends up losing that one, and it could have been, a, you know, not good for the Huskers, And but they turned around, and, boy, they, they just rattled off. And, and the way that they kind of performed in those next – weight classes it was um it was big i think that was um good for them to start off there and have to figure out a way to you know get back in the momentum going in their favor because that's the couple times before that they lost the first match and then it didn't go Spiraled well out of control yeah a little, a little bit. Yeah. bit so that was that was good to see they started at 165 in northwestern yesterday so they had a really good weekend this weekend's off and then they're home for a couple of big matches michigan coming on friday february the 4th next time you can see the huskers compete over at the devaney center on the mats track and field had their second straight home indoor meet they've got a third one coming up this week i want to talk a little bit about kaylin meyer the uh, outstanding high school product from superior nebraska came here as kind of a three-sport star she's on john cook's 
volleyball squad. She's a middle blocker playing behind like people like Kayla Caffey. She has not really seen much playing time. She won the shot put on Saturday by three feet. Wow. She's And I, I mentioned this last week. Gary Pepin, longtime Husker track and field coach, who we're trying to lasso to get him on Sports Nightly, he thinks she has, she has a chance to win a national championship. That is really special. It would be interesting to see how she balances because – you know, again, with volleyball and, and being a middle blocker and being able to jump and all of that and, and that training compared to throwing the shot put, which is, is completely different. But I mean, that's an impressive athlete. Sure is. And anybody out in that part of the state know that she was so dominant in everything, volleyball, basketball, track and field. And track might end up being her best thing. And if she can be a national champion, that would put her in an ilk of being a an Olympian. I mean, you got to think about that yeah. a little bit. If you can do that, you're probably in that. You, you would that would be on your radar to try to be an Olympian. And it seems like there's lots of positive things going the track and field. The men ranked what for the first time since 2016. So uh, lots of uh, positive things happening over there. They have their Adidas Classic this weekend out there, and then it's the Frank Savine meet next week. So the next two weekends, track is home. Then they go on the road and do some things. So if you want to get out and watch some track and field, that is going along. It's the biggest team on campus. Track, track. They have more track athletes than anybody. Everybody thinks football. Nope, football's got a lot, but track has more athletes on their roster. Yeah, Big group. it's uh, well, and then men's and women's, and it's uh, it's wild. You know, when you go out to, I shot an interview out there the other day, and it's just you got people doing things all over. I mean, it's kind of sensory overload a little bit. I mean, there was a guy that was doing the hurdles and there was someone that was running a long a distance run and then there was somebody working on the uh one of the jumps uh, i think the high jump so it's just it's there's some, some going something going on at all times it's like a circus yeah different things happen in different spots uh we, we talked earlier in, in the program about what a wonderful weekend it was for the national football league and and now you have an interesting off season for two older guys tom brady aaron Rodgers. Could they be done? Could they be done with their current teams? Brady has one more year left with the Bucs, so if he comes back, he will be a Tampa Bay Buck. But Rodgers could go somewhere else, or he could retire. What's your gut saying to either one of those guys? Tom Brady's coming back, I think. Okay. I don't think he goes out. I think he wants to go out with the Super Bowl. So, unless it comes to the point where it's just, okay, I'm just not possible. But as close as they were this year – I think, um, I mean, and he's still playing really he is. at a very high level. So I, I'll bet he comes back. I mean, he's just such a competitor. I bet he wants one more shot at winning another Super Bowl. Aaron Rodgers is weird because it's like he didn't want to be in Green Bay. And then it just, um, and he is a guy that probably wants to do other things like host Jeopardy and all of the above. So I, it's, I, I don't know if to him, if it, is as important to go win another Super Bowl as it is maybe to see if he can be good at other things. I, I feel like he's ready for another challenge in yeah. his life, and it may not be football anymore. Um, the folks out, out west of us in Denver, they would love to have Aaron Rodgers come be there. There was a lot of chatter in the offseason that he might end up being a Bronco. I just think he's maybe tired of Green Bay and maybe tired of football. I don't know how much he loves it. Yeah. I'm really good at it. To me, it's like Tom Brady, you, he loves it, right? And he loves competing and all of that. But, yeah, I, I just I think Aaron Rodgers is a guy that's got some other things going on, and um, he's kind of accomplished a lot. And um, I, I would be less surprised to see him hanging up than Tom Brady. Me too, even though so, he's younger. Yes. Quite a bit yeah. younger than Tom. So you kind of feel like there's a changing of the guard kind of happening in the NFL at the quarterback position. Because those two, along with Drew Brees, who retired a year ago, they were kind of the – but now it's it's no doubt it's Mahomes, it's Allen, it's Burrow, it's Herbert out with the Chargers. Those are those are kind of the guys now. They're the face of the, of the league. Yeah, it's been fun to see some of these quarterbacks too kind of really – I mean, even um, – you know, the the guys that played yesterday, just the way that they've – Jeremiah was saying how Josh Allen, how he's really developed and, and become this kind of quarterback. You're seeing a lot of those quarterbacks that went that, um, you know, even you think back to what Baker Mayfield's year, that there, there was a big quarterback class that year. But just um, they're kind of coming into their own a little bit, and there's a lot of really good quarterbacks in the league right now. I mean, you forgot oh, Kyler wow. Murray. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of young, young up-and-coming that um, is going to make the league fun for a while now. Joe Dak, Burrow. Dak, like, Dak Prescott's crazy. not that old, really. No. I mean, he's not 30 yet. He's a little older than this group, but, yeah, it's – 
it's it's exciting. That's why the league's doing so well. I mean, man, the TV ratings. Are and there's going to be a lot of probably shuffling in the quarterback. You know, think maybe where Baker Mayfield might go. Some of these guys that might have contracts coming up. And um, I mean, this is not a strong quarterback class in the nope. draft, so there won't be a lot of drama in that area going into seeing you know who drafts quarterbacks and then what what that quarterback situation looks but i think in the next year could be a really good quarterback class again in in the draft sports Highly hotline brought to you by the woodhouse auto family shop woodhouse first 18 brand 16 convenient location simplified car buying to save you time shop finance Buy online at woodhouse.com. When we come back, Husker women's tennis about to begin their season tomorrow night at home against Creighton. Then they go to six-ranked Duke over the weekend, so it's about to get on for the Husker women's racketeers. We're back to talk to longtime coach Scott Jacobson. That's next. If you're driven by an adventurous heart, you're in luck. The 2021 Subaru Outback shares your spirit. It will take you as far as you want to explore with standard symmetrical all-wheel drive. It'll get you off the beaten path with 8.7 inches of ground clearance, more than Toyota RAV4 or Honda Passport. It's the best Outback ever. The 2021 Subaru Outback. Go where love takes you. Comparison based on competitor information for manufacturer websites as of July 2020. Visit Beardmore Subaru in Bellevue or at BeardmoreSubaru.com. Welcome to Ag Answers, where we answer common questions related to farming and ranching. Today we're tackling the issue of GMOs, or genetically modified organisms. GMOs may sound scary, but they're actually benefiting our environment and consumers. That's because GMO crops help solve specific problems like insects, food waste, and droughts. By selecting good traits from one plant or organism and adding them to another, farmers are safely using science to produce high-quality foods better than ever before. This message is brought to you by Nebraska's Corn and Soybean Farmers. From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, I'm journalism student Grace Fitzgibbon with Campus News. The university has a new undergraduate business and law major. Students majoring in business and law are learning to use legal knowledge to better solve business challenges. They are also gaining skills in regulatory compliance, financial services, securities regulation, and corporate social responsibility. Upon graduation, they will boost the state's talent pool in these critical areas of expertise. Hit us up on the text line, text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Welcome to Ag Answers, where we answer common questions related to farming and ranching. Today's topic, animal agriculture. There's been a lot of talk suggesting that giving up meat is good for the environment. However, livestock emissions only account for less than 4% of greenhouse gas emissions, according to the Environmental Protection Agency. Also, by reducing meat in your diet, you're missing out on all sorts of beneficial nutrients like protein, iron, and zinc. This message is brought to you by Nebraska's corn and soybean farmers. As the Huskers head to halftime, Frank is off the couch and headed for the fridge. Ooh, but he can't make it because he's so cold. The furnace is out again. But wait, he sees an opening. SOS, SOS, he screams and calls 391-2336. SOS Heating and Cooling, his favorite Luxair dealer. Boy, he made the right call today as SOS is already on the way. SOS is your trustworthy company since 1950, and with Luxair, you get free 10-year labor warranty with a new system. Call 391-2336 or visit soshvac.com today. Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to listen in on a transmission from Major Laura Stanton, the first person on Mars after a seven-month mission to the planet. Houston, do you read me? Uh, copy that, Major. Anything you need? Yeah, what were last night's Powerball numbers? With the starting jackpot in the millions in drawings Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday, everybody wants to know about Powerball from the Nebraska Lottery. What's it look like there, Major? Red. Top prize odds, one in 292 million. If your business communication slows down, your business slows down. Kidwell can help. Kidwell streamlines your company's communications with phone systems that work the way you work, in the office or on the road. Kidwell systems provide the unified communications features your users demand, like voicemail to email, instant messaging, and calendar integration. And Kidwell will be there, providing training, service, and support to make sure you get the most out of your investment. Don't let communications problems slow down your business. Visit KidwellInc.com. If you're driven by an adventurous heart, you're in luck. The 2021 Subaru Outback shares your spirit. It will take you as far as you want to explore with standard symmetrical all-wheel drive. 
It'll get you off the beaten path with 8.7 inches of ground clearance. More than Toyota RAV4 or Honda Passport. It's the best Outback ever. The 2021 Subaru Outback. Go where love takes you. Comparison based on competitor information for manufacturer websites as of July 2020. Visit Beardmore Subaru in Bellevue or at BeardmoreSubaru.com. Hello, I'm Tom Osborne. And I'm Coach Frost. Statistics prove that youth who are mentored and receive support and guidance from a caring adult show measurable improvement in academic achievement, motivation to succeed, and hope. Over the past 30 years, Teammates has served more than 43,000 youth. And right now, there are more than 1,000 waiting for a Teammates mentor to visit with them once a week in school. For more information on how you can help the Teammates Mentoring Program, please go to teammates.org and thank you for supporting our youth. Sponsored by Nebraska Crossing Fast Cash App. Insider Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, which is sponsored by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more. Acres, solutions for every field. Delighted to welcome on board the program here tonight, women's tennis coach Scott Jacobson. I, I did a double take when I was looking things up before we went on. 31 years, that can't be right. Is that, that right? Be, yeah. 31 years for well, it's you? It's hard to believe because I'm only 39 I know, years you old. started at yeah. 8. Yeah, I started at eight. I started young. You know, I hadn't had my college degree yet, but, you know, you got to do what you got to do. How much has coaching changed? How much have young college students changed, or have they changed in your 31 years? Well, I think one of the things that's changed a lot is just the demand with respect to recruiting. Recruiting is off the charts. I mean, it used to be back in the day where you'd go to a national tournament, there'd be half a dozen coaches there. Now you go to a national tournament, there's 150 coaches there. And so, and from an international perspective, same thing. You know, I used to do, I used to do a lot of the recruiting over the phone with international kids, and now it's, everything is in person. And uh, so that's changed. It's just, it's a lot more challenging. There's a lot more parity than there's ever been in college tennis. You know, 50 in the country can beat 10 in the country at any given time. And so it's, uh, it's good. It's good for the sport, but you got to be ready to compete every single weekend. Again, busy with Scott Jacobson, Husker women's tennis coach. They open their season tomorrow with Creighton at the Dillon Tennis Center, 5 o'clock for that. You had a few matches in the fall, what, and then you have a break. What, tell me, Take me through the break. What, what do you have your team do during that? Do you do more strength and conditioning at that time? Do, do you get them off the court for a while? Take me through that. Well, we're limited to eight hours, basically four hours on the court, and then they have a conditioning program as well. And so... But the team is pretty committed. So even during that eight-hour period, uh, when we're not in our 20-hour period, they're always on the court on their own, doing their own thing and constructing their own practices. So this is an especially uh, talented and gifted group, and uh, and they, they want to go to work even when we don't have official practices. So it works out well. Let's talk about your team a little bit. Lay it, lay it out for us. Well, who are some of the names we're going to be hearing about in the coming months? Well, we have the majority of our, our, our team back. Christina Novak at one, played one all of last year and was a you know, Big Ten, uh, first team all Big Ten conference. And so, and she, she, she's striking a big ball as well as Isabella, Isabella Drover Gallego, who uh, played two for us last year's back. Um, and so we have a good nucleus, Maya McCourts, who played three, four for us, is also uh, just a sophomore back in the program. Ellie and, and Chloe Cuckelman, the twins, you know, Ellie was hurt last year, and she's back and in good health. And Chloe was, I think, 17-2 and two at four or five singles last year for us. And so we have a, uh, we have a good group, and, and they're ready to roll, and we're excited to watch them compete. How do you go about matching up your doubles teams? How how, take me through the process of that. I know, I know you just don't think, throw it to a dartboard yeah. and go, okay, who is going to play with this person? And Well, it, it's, you know, the thing about it is you, you might feel like at the beginning of the season, I know the last couple of years, we've had a lot of success, fortunately, in doubles, but it, it seems like it never, it seems like it takes a little bit of tweaking. And so I know last year we started with some different doubles teams and then found our way, you know, and uh, it's just a lot of it has to do with the energy level, how, how they uh, – feed off of each other as a doubles team you know you have to have a lot of healthy emotion and so and you, there's no time for any kind of negative energy in doubles because you play a set to six and it goes fast and it can be influenced by one or two points and a lot of that has to do with your mindset and so you know, it's, it's oftentimes at the beginning of the season a work in progress and then you know we always seem to be able to find combinations that work but sometimes it's the third or fourth match into the season are you of the mindset that playing doubles helps the, a singles player 
Does that do those skills help? Oh, definitely. Yeah, it, it's a lot more challenging if, and, and at times we'll have individuals that just play singles and don't play doubles. And it's, it's a little bit more challenging to get off to a good start in singles if you're not in the doubles lineup. Uh, but sometimes that's just the way it works. And, uh, and so, but yet your doubles game certainly does help elevate your singles as well because you've got 45 minutes of, of, of play before you actually step on the court for a single. So. Again, busy with Scott Jacobson, Husker women's tennis coach, opens the season tomorrow with Creighton. Then you go to number six, Duke. You, you're, throwing them right, you're throwing them right in there, aren't you? We're excited. Yeah, you know, I mean, last year you know, we started, you, you never know what to expect, but last year's season we started our second or third match against uh, you know, number seven, Northwestern, and uh, ended up losing at home 4-3. And, uh, and so it's uh, anything can happen. We feel like we're very, very gifted. Obviously, Duke just beat Ohio State last week, 4-3, who's eight in the country. And so it's uh, – it's, it's going to be a great challenge, but we're excited for the challenge. A lot of non-conference matches for you before you jump into the league. I think it's an early March for that. Give me your philosophy on scheduling. Well, what do you try to get done with those early batch of matches? Well, you know, you just you try, you try to get into match mode. You know, it's one of those things where it's a little bit different than practicing. There's a different energy, obviously, when you're competing against outside competition versus competing against yourselves. And so... One of the things we try to do in the offseason, we'll play some inter-squad scrimmages to try to get that feel for it as well, like a red versus a white. Uh, but it's just a way to grow your game. You know, I, and this, this season, you know, I told the team before our first practice that uh, this is the strongest non-conference schedule that we've ever put together and, uh, in my 31 years of coaching at the University of Nebraska, followed by a you're welcome. So, <laughs> but they're up for the challenge. It, it, and it, for me personally, it, it it speaks volumes about what we believe the skill set of our team is by scheduling. Give sport. me a snapshot of the league. I mean, I know nobody's really played many matches yeah. yet. What do you think of the league? Well, the nice thing about our conference is everybody is good, and so what that does is it allows you more opportunities to get into the NCAA right. tournament, and so. Uh, outside of our non-conference schedule, which is really, really strong this year with Kansas State and, you know, um, Texas Duke. Tech is going to be here. I mean, there's a lot of quality programs. Kansas is always, you know, a great program. So, uh, but the conference is strong. And so what that does is it, it allows us more opportunities, irrespective of what happens the week before. There's always a, an opportunity against a quality program the following weekend to give ourselves a chance to get in that tournament, which is, you know, one of the goals. All right. Five o'clock tomorrow, Creighton. Folks invited to come out, right? You'd love to have some people Absolutely. come out and cheer you on. It's kind of it's the the cost is free, so if anyone can afford free, we'd love to have them out. Fantastic. What is the what is the Dillon Tennis Center mentor program? Oh, it's amazing. I mean, it's it's uh, I still get giddy every time I go to the office in in the morning. It's something that uh, you know was uh, Coach Osborne kind of put this in in, uh, in play initially, and um, and then Sean Eichhorst actually put the final pieces together back in the day and back in 2000 I believe it was 14 when it was completed and it's just something that you know the program being in our conference there's so many phenomenal tennis complexes and, and we believe we have one of the finest in the nation right now and it certainly helps recruiting in a big way. There he is Scott Jacobson with us here on Sports Sunday. Huskers open their season tomorrow Creighton five o'clock coach best of luck and travel safe and keep everybody healthy in the coming weeks all right thank you so much scott jacobson with us here on sports honey buckle up put that phone down a reminder from the ndot highway safety office we'll open up some phone lines and jessica will rejoin me coming up next from vintage sneakers to bacon scented soap to water fountains for your pet all can be had with a few simple clicks problem is you never really know what you're going to get until they show up at your door Introducing Ford Blue Advantage. It's used car buying that's built for you. Not only can you shop for used vehicles online, in person, or both, you can also test drive before you buy, so you know exactly what you're getting. Plus, get history reports, vehicle inspections, Ford warranties, and the expertise of factory-trained techs. Visit FordBlueAdvantage.com today. Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to listen in on a transmission from Major Laura Stanton, the first person on Mars after a seven-month mission to the planet. Houston, do you read me? Uh, copy that, Major. Anything you need? Yeah, what were last night's Powerball numbers? With the starting jackpot in the millions in drawings Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday, everybody wants to know about Powerball from the Nebraska Lottery. What's it look like there, Major? Red. 
Top prize odds, one in 292 million. Some of my fondest childhood memories are from volunteering with my grandmother. Helping others was her passion. She'd always say, the sweetest fruits of life come from serving others. And she was right. At Shelter Insurance, we strive to make a positive impact in the communities where we work and live. See Pete Bowles, Brent Ruggo, or Bo Witt in North Platte and ask about Shelter's competitive rates. You already got the hat, the jersey, maybe even the occasional red and white face paint. So kick things off right this season and add the FNBO Husker Visa debit card to the list. Pay loud and proud for every Husker decal, t-shirt, or hot dog at the game. Wear your heart on your sleeve and in your wallet with the Husker Visa debit card. Free with any checking account from FNBO, the bank of Husker Nation. Get yours today at FNBO.com slash Huskers. Member FDIC. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Hey, folks, this is Famous Dave. You know the difference between an ordinary get-together and a famous one? At most parties, the food's pretty forgettable. But imagine your table loaded with award-winning barbecue, chopped pork sandwiches, roasted chicken, and mouth-watering juicy ribs. From birthdays to corporate events, any size groups, we'll customize our menu to fit your budget. Make your next get-together fun and famous with catering from Famous Dave's. Visit FamousDave's.com. At Union Bank, people don't have your money. Your money has people. First home people, investment people, people people, people who answer the phone and your chats, dream car people, dream retirement people, driving your dream car in your dream retirement people, small business people, credit card people, and all the other people you need. At Union Bank, our people help you do more than you dreamed possible. So stop in and say hello. We can't wait to see you. Union Bank and Trust, member FDIC. Our Sports Nightly Hotline brought to you by the Woodhouse Auto Family. Shop Woodhouse First 18 brand, 16 convenient locations. Simplified car buying to save you time. Shop finance, buy online at woodhouse.com. Greg Sharp, Jessica Cootie with you. Final few minutes here of our Monday Sports Nightly. If you want to be a part of it, 402-413-2400, call or text. I was thinking about this today that, you know, and maybe it's because Nebraska is no longer in the Big 12, but how big a deal playing on Big Monday was. Yeah. And now I just feel like it's kind of lost its luster. And like tonight, you got an under, unranked Virginia plan and unranked Louisville tonight. KU Texas Tech about to go. But has that lost some buzz? I mean, and maybe folks in the Big 12 probably still get really fired up. For yeah, it. I think so. I think they still. But also, though, it seems like they, even like Super Tuesday or whatever, I mean, it seems like there's yeah. kind of big matchups a lot of the nights of the week. Um, I mean, even because with the Big 12, I saw they had a graphic out. Someone had tweeted out a graphic that right now they're projected, I think, to get eight of the 10 teams into the NCAA tournament. Yep. And so, um, you know, you talk about Baylor was number one. Then, you know, there's just so many good teams in the Big 12 that I think uh, almost every night's a big matchup that you, you look at. Well, I, I think what we've done is college basketball has kind of grabbed every day of the week. Yeah, it really and so has. it's kind of watered it down. It used to be you played Saturday and then there were a couple games on – Monday and then Wednesday everybody played Wednesday Pac-12 yeah. would play Thursday but it's like now it's just it's all spread out and Andrew and Tim and I are talking today so many Husker games are on Sunday or yeah. just odd days and I mean even um because with the women's basketball too there's some big matchups that they kind of have on Sundays and it, there is literally basketball and a lot of times good basketball on almost every night of the week we have not had a Husker game on Saturday the last two weeks. We're supposed to this past week, but COVID knocked the men out. But there was no game scheduled on the Saturday before. That, to me, just seems wrong. The Saturday yeah. seems like that just screams college basketball. When you're not playing on a Saturday, I just think that's wrong to me. Yeah, it, it, it does. It seems like Saturday should be designated for college basketball. And even even a lot of the women games are, women's games are played on Saturday. And then, you know, you might have a big matchup on a Sunday. Um, because a lot, you know, with the Big Ten network, that's when a lot of times you see those women's games right. are on BTN or on those Sunday Sundays. games. They'll do double, triple headers yeah. sometimes. So I feel like a lot of times it's the women that are on the Sunday and, and the men that are on the Saturday. But yeah, it does. Saturdays are for college football and they're for college basketball. I think so too, and I just I feel like we've kind of gotten away from that. And I know a lot of Husker fans have been 
critical of the Big Ten in the past because they never got Saturday home basketball games. You're like, well, that's when families can come. They can go and enjoy the hay market. They can go have dinner before or after a game, and there just aren't very many. Sa- there is this week. Rutgers will be here for the men this Saturday. I think it's weird that they play on Friday nights because Friday's a high school night. I agree. Like, it just kind of seems that Friday should be where – high school play and then that way the if they want to come watch a college game on a saturday recruiting you know you don't miss any games you can go watch go wherever you need to go on a saturday but the family can go because you know a lot of small towns i grew up in a small town that you know we would go watch college games wherever that might be that but we played on friday night so on saturday we would go watch drive up and go watch a college game sure so the last two fridays of february Nebraska plays basketball at PBA, Iowa, Maryland. That's just is going to seem weird. And that's probably high school playoffs around here, right? By then? Probably districts. Yeah. yeah. Going on then. So the, there you go. You're going to have Husker men playing two Friday night games coming up at the end of February. Well, this is Monday. This is when we like to kind of name some weekend winners. What's on your plate? Hey, I got to give it up to Aoka Lee from Kansas State. Wow. She broke a Division One women's record. She scored 61 points Whoa. yesterday six I couldn't even imagine scoring 61 points uh but she was also impressive and she did she was uh nearly 77 percent from the field 15 to 17 from the free throw line also had 12 rebounds so a double double at that but the record had stood the first time Cindy Brown was from Long Beach State she scored 60 in 1987 and then Minnesota had a guard Rachel Bannum oh, in yeah. 2016 that scored 60 against Northwestern so uh the, that's a record that stood for a long time and so anytime you can move your name to the top of the NCAA record books you mentioned Caitlin Clark early in the show that young lady might be the player of the year in college basketball yeah she could there I love the the way that women's college basketball has really grown I mean it's women's basketball has always been I think one of the more popular women's sports we talked we've we've talked so much about how much volleyball has grown and how popular it is here but I think the way that these women's players are playing with Caitlin Clark and and Paige Beckers out of UConn I mean you've got some elite women's basketball players it's only growing the game and and a lot of eyeballs on like that game that Aoka Lee was playing on was on ESPNU a lot of times those games would be on ESPN plus you don't have a lot of people watching that game but I think the way that they're putting women's basketball games and a lot of it is because you're seeing these elite players on these teams doing things like what Aoka Lee did so on national television at that and they don't leave early they don't go no. to the pros early they pretty much play their whole career yeah you get to there. watch them play for four in now five years five that years you're gonna get to watch with some the, of these players. the COVID deal and there yeah there is some transfer portal movement but not as much as in the men's game where you just almost have to relearn your team year after year that's a good one all right my winners we mentioned them earlier in the year that's the Husker wrestling team so proud of Mark Manning that whole group to go on the road win two matches and Madison against a red-hot Wisconsin team Friday night, and then back it up with a really solid performance on Sunday in Evanston. A lot of times, if you really perform well on a Friday, you might be flat coming out the next time out. They weren't. They took care of business. I think that team turned a corner this weekend. I think it's some big things ahead for them in the next six weeks. Yeah, just I think when you, because again, preparing for the Purdue duel, and you look how much Purdue had been out there and and wrestled I think they had like seven duels and Nebraska only had three right and so just you know they got hit by COVID and then they had injuries and we we've heard coach Manning talk so much of you know since the end of last year how disappointing last year was this is a hungry group I just think they had kind of got you know bit by COVID and then injuries and so I think they're kind of getting back into the swing of things that was a big weekend for them I hopefully they'll take a lot of momentum from that moving forward absolutely come up coming up tomorrow night Brendan Stye is going to stop by the former member of the pipeline currently works for the uh, development part of the Husker athletic department he will be here we'll we'll talk some football with Brendan as well we're going to hear from Dave Ellis Jessica and Dave have put together another nutrition podcast. We'll hear a snippet of that tomorrow. And Nicole Swigert from the Alumni Association will be here. She's going to tell you about an event that's going to take place in Arlington, Texas at the end of February. Part of the Husker baseball team's trip down there to play TCU. We'll get all the information about that fun event for folks who live in Texas. You want to be listening in to that tomorrow night. Buckle up. Put that phone down. It's a reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. That's going to do it for tonight's show. Thanks to Tim, to Jessica, and all of you for listening here tonight. Enjoy yourselves tonight. Back with another show tomorrow.
Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. United Healthcare believes small businesses are vital to our economy and an important part of our communities. Join United Healthcare in celebrating small businesses. I'm Rob Broomfield, United Healthcare of Nebraska CEO and a graduate of the University of Nebraska. We want to recognize your small business with the spotlight on small business sweepstakes. Winners receive radio interviews, social media recognition, and more. To enter, visit huskers.com front slash spotlight. United Healthcare, proud partner of Husker Sports. You could win a 2022 Porsche Macan from Porsche Omaha this season. Four lucky Husker fans will have a chance to win a 2022 Porsche Macan if they make a putt on the court at halftime at one of four home men's basketball games this season. Each contestant will receive a pair of tickets, hospitality, and a visit with the broadcast team before one of the home games with Ohio State, Rutgers, Northwestern, or Iowa. For more information and the official rules, go to huskers.com slash putt. Here is a before winter to-do list from JTEC Construction. Let's start with windows. Triple pane window technology has saved homeowners countless dollars on heating and cooling bills. Siding serves a crucially important purpose, protecting your home and insulating it from adverse weather conditions. And don't forget about your roof. Designing your roof should be simple and painless, and JTEC offers several payment plan options. One more thing on your to-do list called JTEC Construction, the official exterior experts of the Huskers. When you're a sports fan, it's kind of like having a new love interest. You want to know all about them. Only, instead of learning about someone's third grade crush, you want to know the latest scores, stats, and lineups. To get that, you need Cox Internet. Cox gives you that window to look deeply into your beloved team's soul. Not to mention their injury list. 